Hi guys, it's Mr. Underwood, back with another episode on Wednesday. I see we've survived to the middle of the week. We're doing good. Today is cough drop day. <coughs> it's donate a day's wages to charity day. It's frog jumping day. So everybody get out your frogs. Are you ready? Yeah, I don't have a frog either, but we can jump like frogs. It is National Fruit Cocktail Day. It's National Apple Pie Day. It is Numeracy Day. Numeracy, of course, is related to numbers. It is National Root Canal Appreciation Day. So everybody, appreciate your root canals. What? You don't have a root canal? Yet? It's National Leprechaun Day. You know those little guys that have the, the pot of gold at the end of the rainbow? Yeah. It's Tulip Day, so everybody celebrates your tulips. I thought today we would do something a little bit different. I got one of the USB micro cameras from school and brought it home and decided to see about us using it to take some macro photography. So what is macro photography? Macro photography is where you have a one-to-one -one relationship between your subject you're photographing and what you see on your camera or a screen. So what is a one-to-one -one relationship? What it means is if you could get your eyeball down right up close to whatever it is you're looking at, this camera will show you what you would see. It's not micro photography. Micro photography is where you zoom in past what your eyes can see. Macro photography is just where your camera is able to zoom in enough to where you can see detail. So it makes things look bigger on a screen to us. But it's still a one-to-one -one relationship. So today we're going to do some macro photography. And I'm going to let you guess and see if you can figure out what it is we're looking at. It's a fun little game, a fun little thing that we can do. So watch this and see if you can guess what it is we took some macro photography of. This is our first macro subject. Hmm. Looks grainy. I wonder what it could be. Is that salt? Hmm. Let's make a guess. Do you think it's wood? cracker or sand make a guess and we'll see at the end well this certainly is shiny kind of looks like some type of liquid hmm but that looks different I'm not for sure do you think it's rubber glue or paint hmm well this is a cool texture it repeats over and over, so it's kind of woven. It's some type of fabric, but what is it? Is it Band-Aid, Sandpaper, or Sock? Now, this last one is my favorite. Hmm. Oh, it's obviously Mr. Underwood's beard. No, it's not my beard. But what is this? Oh, that's weird. I see lots of fibers. Hmm. Some of it looks snipped or cut. There's different colored fibers mixed in, but they mostly look white. Oh, that's different. Look how stringy. Hmm. Is it fur, sponge, or cotton? And now it's time for the answers. The first one was a cracker coated in cinnamon. The second one was just blue paint. Then we had our good old faithful band-aid. 
And the last one was, well, it was just cotton. So yeah, these little cameras are pretty cool. They're sold as micro USB cameras. They're really not microscopes. They are macro cameras, which means the little lens they have on the inside of them lets you zoom in to see what your eyeball could see if you were able to get very, very close and keep focus on what you're looking at. They are sold on Amazon and other places. Um, they're not terribly expensive, so if you're interested in one and you start to buy one and mom and dad says that's way too much money, they're right because you can buy one at a reasonable price. So don't look for something that's real expensive if you're interested. Some of you have seen these in class because we've got several at school that we've gotten out and kind of played with and fooled with a little bit. So I hope you enjoyed today and I hope you enjoyed the world of macro photography and I think that I would like to do some more of that with you. I appreciate you so much. I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day. Everybody take care and I'll see you back here tomorrow.